It's a frigid cold day up here in Maine. What's up guys, Joe Holland here. We are out here fishing and it is freaking cold. We had 24 below zero on the thermometer on the drive in today. It's freaking cold, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, we're staying warm, we're, stay, we're, we're staying active. We're getting some flags, uh, drilling some holes, running around when we can. It's cold enough that I'm actually putting my hands in my pockets and I'm really thinking about wearing a pair of gloves. That's how cold it is. I think my beard, yeah, my beard's frozen. I can, I, I can feel my face, but I'm hoping I build enough of a shield with that beard that it protects me when the wind starts blowing. We did bring some firewood. We might end up having a little fire today out on the ice, which would be pretty cool. Maybe warm up a little bit. Or the one nice thing about a fire is it keeps you busy, keeping it going. So that actually keeps you warm, just keeping it going, whether you're feeling the heat or not. Got our good buddy, Pat Lassard. Hello. Rook trout specialist with us today. Pat's frozen in. Frozen. <laughs> we just walked probably, oh, how far are we from the truck? Over a mile? Yeah. Over a mile from the truck. So that walk was just brisk enough to sweat a little bit. And you gotta be careful in these temperatures not to get too sweaty because you get wet and then it freezes. But the holes are freezing up, the bait's freezing up. We got our work ahead of us today, fellas, and conditions are making it tough, but the fishing's good. So we're gonna keep at it for you. We're gonna keep, we'll keep shooting video and uh, hopefully we get into some more fish. We got two brookies on the ice already. Hello, you can't hold them out very long. So we gotta get them right back in, buddy. Nice, good job. Nice work. <laughs> Pat, what are you doing with that little baby trap? Look at that. See him quick. I'm going to let him go. All right, cut it off. See, we'll no, he's off. already. Nice job, buddy. What do you trap? I made this two days ago. Some old traps I had kicking around the barn. <clears throat> Joe said there's some short water there, but if you got a trap small enough to get fish, I mean, get some water with it, and you'll catch fish, and so this is what I mean. There it is. The trap's so small, he has to build a platform around the hole to keep the trap from getting pulled down through. That is a true story. Smelt. Smelt. He must have smelt that. Smelt that. Very rarely have a fire on the ice, but conditions today call for it, so we brought out some wood of our own. There's some dead wood here on shore on this island. And we're gonna see if we can get a nice blaze going, so we'll show you how we'll do it. Got my new app. Pat got me for Christmas. It's got a nice little hook on it, so you could do you could be a skidder like this. Coming at you. Coming at you. You get some bait back going, boys, did you? The only time I ever got in trouble from a warden for making a fire was when we made it out of 4 by 4 log. Really? Yeah. It's Why? Huge. I don't know. He said it's too bad. Make 
a teepee. You want to make a teepee? Yeah. We got a blaze going now, boys. Yeah. It's cold. Yep. It's been a while since I've been cold like this. We got her going now, folks. Put the old axe to work and skittered out some logs, hand skidded them, and we got her going. She caught it, looks like, and throwing off some heat now, finally, and a little bit of smoke, too, but that's okay. You'll get that when the wood's wet. We brought a little bit of nice dry wood from home, but for the most part, we're just kind of pulling some dead stuff out, out from underneath the snow in the woods. Got a nice little fire going. She's throwing some pretty good heat. Uh, Pat's checking some bait for us, making the rounds. Uh, it's still pretty cold out here. It's cold enough. We, when we were in the store this morning, a couple lawyers were there, and it was cold enough that the lawyers actually had their hands in their own pockets which is pretty rare. Oh boy, Gage. Oh. oh. Oh, that was a nice fish, Gage. <laughs> it was probably a wow. rainbow going towards deep water. Holy smokes, Gage. Can you come back for it? I if he broke me off. Well, he moved that fish. Probably a big rainbow going towards deeper water. That was a big fish, Gage. Oh, oh, oh I just had something on the... You got him? What do we got? It's not the same fish. No? Bass, maybe. A bass? Yeah. A little large Wow, G. Joe, we got a large mouth. That was hilarious. Is that same? Large mouth. That same fish? Huh? That same fish you said it do, you think? I don't know. Maybe. It was right under the ice, I doubt it. I'm guessing when I let it fall to the bottom. Yeah. Crunchy water. What do you think, Gage? Having fun? Yeah. Ah. Yep. I'm having a lot of fun. Getting to sit down and enjoy the fire a little bit. We'll keep it going. Whoa, those crows are chasing a hawk over there. We never would have been able to do this last time we were out here. Too much flags. Too many flags. <laughs> You're hammering the boogie. I am hammering the boogie. We got a Snickers? Yeah. Did you steal from me? No, I bought it this morning. Get satisfied. What are you throwing at? What are you frozen. Here we go. This is going to be a good one. I told you. Go cut yourself a switch. Okay. Pat's got a scratch ticket here. And he said if he wins 500 or more, he's buying us all new jack traps. But he asked Gage for a coin. Gage told him no. So he said Gage is out. I ain't got one on me. Well, you you got to do something. You could have borrowed one from me and given it to him. All right, Gage. See how much you're out. You're out? Gage is oh, out? Oh, he's totally out. It's just me and you now. All right. I hope you got a winner. 20 for bucks. Me. 20 right. bucks. This is water. This is what happened. It's so cold, though. You see that? Man, out deep like this, this is going to be a giant again, rainbow. Got it. You got him? Brookie. Brookie, 12 inch. Cookie Brookie? Cookie Brookie. Cookie cutter. Nice one. Nice. Nice Brookie, huh, nice fellas? Nice belly to him. You got cooking the truck? Oh, yeah, we're going to heat this baby up on the hot, open fire we got going right now, folks. So let me see how deep it got it. Gonna keep them? Yeah, we're gonna keep that one. There's lunch. With some Guys, deer meat. We're gonna eat that with some fresh main deer meat the Gage shot. We're gonna show you how we catch them and cook them on the open fire while we're out here fishing. Just yeah, look, like at, look how big the dorsal fin is on that one. Never seen the one so big. Yeah, I, still you? I catch them with big dorsal fins. It's a char. <laughs> in the char family. <laughs> I try to target the big fin ones. But yeah, that's it right there. Beautiful pink belly on that. What we're going to do is it's awful cold out here, but we're going to put it right out of its misery right now. Oh. We've already pulled two fish out of this hole. Look at the ice that's on it. Alright, that's the cage. Ooh, that's chilly. Oh, she's got some water out. 
sideways. Oh, he's a, oh, yeah, nice fish keys. Nice one. Sounds like a nice little brookie. Yep, another nice yep, little brookie. Nice brookie. Nice Look, oh, right in the corner of the bottom. Nice brookie. Nice one. There he goes. Catch all these. Nice. Hey, we got some all right, guys. All right, guys. What we're gonna do to fasten this thing to the, to our cooking stick is we're gonna go right through the gills on it, and uh, to keep the tail from laying down in the fire, what I did is I took my trusty little Swiss Army knife and used the ads or the awl and went right through the the stick trying to bore my way through and we got ourselves a little spike that's going to go through the fish and through the stick and hopefully hold it up keep it out of the fire so it cooks very nice on a little spit we made here so here's our fish on a stick right here we call this fish sticks up in maine and uh, there's a hundred different ways to cook and this is just one way we're doing it and that's the way we're doing it today so the jaws through the stick and then you can see we got that little apparatus right there a little peg our little post and beam fish stick if you will and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on our two Y sticks and lay it right over the fire it won't stay Some of it's done. This is my favorite part. Which part? The skin? skin. Do you eat the skin? I do. Oh, that was the skin. <laughs> it's pretty good. Is it smoky, Gage? If we put it on some sticks, we'll put it on if you want. I think it's done. It's it's close enough. That yeah, might not be good. Oh boys, that is some good trout right there. There is nothing better than eating the south end of a northbound trout. Look at that thing. Holy smokes, that's good. It's melting your mouth. Butter. Does not get any fresher than that. It's warm, but it's cooling down quick because it's so darn cold out here. I think they call that a shore line. Just half an hour ago. And this is the amount of ice. Look at that. Holy smoke. That that trap has made in the last hour. I think it might have got up to eight below today and now definitely cooler. It's dropping. We got a little side wind with a little snow coming in. But so, where else would you rather be, Pat? Nowhere. There we go. We got some water now. Got a gasha. Oh no! You said don't hit that. Don't hit your new trap. Oh man. Just got that yesterday. It's discontinued. They're never gonna make that one again. Yeah, in one hour, that's the ice of me. Wow. We've had more fun, I think, than we've had all year. Uh, just getting this fire going and keeping it going has kept us warm and, and uh, we've been able to warm up next to it. And Honestly, I don't know how much time we spent right next to it. But just keeping it 
keeping it going as far as cutting stuff has kept us warm too. We just moved some traps around. Starting to snow, starting to blow a little bit. We're, we got a belly full of deer meat. We got a belly full of brook trout. Pat's got some cough medicine he's gonna put down because he's he might have a little tickle in his throat. Right in there. He's got, see that flask gauge? Yeah. Matches your, how come that hasn't frozen? Stanley? Yeah, it it's the same version as ours. But the boys have been working hard. They got a wicked blaze going. Mm. We're having a ton of fun. Gage even said, we all just do this someday, even if we don't have ice fishing traps. That's how much fun we're having. And for a 15 year old kid to say something like that, that says a lot about him and how much fun we had. So we're gonna keep at it. We're gonna go as long as we can till dark. We're gonna let this fire burn out. And hopefully we're gonna catch another brook trout or two. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. The magical man of mystery, Mr. Patrick James Jorgensen Lassard the third. Gage, what you working on? The soda froze, so I gotta eat it. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good kid, but dumb and he numb. <laughs> gotta stay hydrated. You do? Yeah, even if you gotta eat it. Open. Light. Okay. Well, that's it for today, guys. Another great day on the hard water. Um, super cold temperatures, which is, you know, always a battle, but it's a lot of fun when you're out here with friends and staying busy and even catching some fish. Fishing wasn't on fire today, but got to see Pat pull up a beautiful big brook trout, and uh, and I got to catch one, and Gage got a couple. So all in all, great day. Um, had a great fire going all day, which. You know, it's a fun fun thing to get a fire going and keep it going up here in these kind of temperatures and, and this time of year, so. No one's in there? No. You see any boot, boot tracks? <clears throat> yeah, they hit hard. The guys were coming home from fishing they went off right here and there's a car in the ditch here we were the first to come along somebody went off in a hurry the roads are getting slick it's pretty bad so we got somebody calling calling the police nobody's i couldn't see anybody in there we looked yeah is the guy down that way all right yeah well i guess he said he was all right he hit a he hit a tree too down there he said they called the tow truck so we got we called the police right. nobody's in here they're up against that pole they hit pretty hard so we're just trying to get home from ice fishing today looks like somebody got out and walked out oh there's somebody walking up there there's somebody walking up there you all right bud you guys all set yeah all set Good. was that you no. all right he's up to the house he said i don't know he's like well, i don't know that's it, folks. We're going to see if we can make it home. The roads are greasy. Is 